Hey there guys, welcome back to Pipix class. Today we have inflation explained super fast. We've actually covered this before, however. It was a longer format video with a more in-depth explanation. So if you'd like to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description below. But for now, let's try the short version. Okay, so inflation is pretty simple. The causes of it can get kind of complex, but the idea is simple. When the price of a good or service is rising, that is inflation. However, typically when people talk about the inflation rate, they are usually referring to the average price of things rising. Food and energy, which includes gas, is not usually included in this rate though. So if you averaged out the cost of things like computers or deodorant or toothpaste or paper, then compared it to the average from last year, you would find the core inflation rate. The reason the core inflation rate, which is more popular than the entire picture, which includes things like food, is because those things like food and gas can be quite volatile in price, dependent on factors that aren't ongoing. If you focus on more stable things like toothpaste, you can see the steady rise in the price of goods. This rise in price is almost universally accepted as the result of steadily increasing money supply. And this part is pretty important for crypto. Like we talked about in our fiat currency lesson, the government prints more and more money each year. As the amount of money that exists rises, the rarity of that money falls. This makes people perceive it as less valuable. So the price of things goes up to match. Why this matters for various cryptocurrencies? They each have installed different systems to combat this process of inflation. Some have put a hard cap on how many coins can be created. Others have embraced dynamic coin supplies that avoid or limit inflation to negate risk. The solutions are numerous and each could deserve a video of its own, to be honest. Again, if you'd like to see the longer version, I'll have a link for it in the description below. One for that fiat currency video too. Anyways, pretty simple video, easy topic. But if you found it helpful, please leave us a like and share the video around. Thank you for tuning in. I love having you here. And I will see you in the next Pivx class.